Acoustic neuroma, also known as vestibular schwannoma, is a benign tumor arising from Schwann cells, the cells responsible for producing the myelin sheath that insulates nerve fibers. Schwannomas can develop along any nerve in the body, but they have a predisposition for the eighth cranial nerve, also called the vestibular cochlear nerve, which sends sensory information about hearing and balance from the inner ear to the brain. The cause of acoustic neuroma isn't clear. However, a small number are related to a condition called neurofibromatosis type 2, which causes a mutation that allows Schwann cells to start dividing uncontrollably. The most common symptoms of acoustic neuromas are tinnitus, or a ringing sound in the ears, and gradual hearing loss on one side. For individuals with neurofibromatosis type 2, acoustic neuromas typically occur bilaterally, so individuals tend to have hearing problems in both ears. Peripheral vertigo, often described as a sense of imbalance or unsteadiness, can also occur, and it typically has a mild, gradual onset. This is because acoustic neuromas grow slowly, so the central nervous system has time to compensate for the loss of balance function, making the symptoms very subtle. As a result, individuals are more likely to notice symptoms like hearing loss and tinnitus earlier than vertigo. Acoustic neuromas don't typically spread to other tissues, but if they grow large enough, they can compress nearby structures, particularly the facial nerve, causing facial weakness and paralysis. Diagnosis of acoustic neuroma is suspected in individuals with tinnitus, one-sided sensory neural hearing loss, and peripheral vertigo. Follow-up evaluation may include assessment by an ENT specialist who may order hearing tests and other specific exams to assess the integrity of the vestibulocochlear nerve. Confirmation of the diagnosis is usually made via a CT or MRI scan of the brain, which allows the detection of tumors. Because of its strong association, individuals with bilateral acoustic neuromas may be recommended genetic testing to check for neurofibromatosis type 2. Treatment of acoustic neuromas varies depending on the size and growth rate of the tumor, as well as the individual's preferences. Most acoustic neuromas remain stable or grow slowly over several years, so monitoring can be an appropriate option for older individuals or those with smaller tumors. Larger tumors, or those causing significant symptoms, may need to be surgically removed. A team of neurosurgeons and ENT specialists may decide to approach the tumor from behind the ear, above the ear, or through the ear with the main risk of surgery being hearing loss and damage to the facial nerve. As an alternative to surgery, some tumors can be treated with radiation therapy, which doesn't remove the tumor entirely, but can be effective at stopping its growth. Additionally, individuals with hearing problems may benefit from hearing aids or other assistive devices, like a cochlear implant. Finally, to help with balance and coordination issues, vestibular rehabilitation may be needed especially after surgery or radiation therapy. All right, as a quick recap, acoustic neuroma is a benign, slow-growing tumor that develops on the cranial nerve responsible for hearing imbalance, causing symptoms like tinnitus, hearing loss, and vertigo. Diagnosis is usually made via a CT or MRI scan, and treatment involves surgical removal of the tumor, radiation therapy, or watchful observation, depending on the size and growth rate of the tumor. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more 